So I'm going to start my squawk box here and we are gonna push that and is that going through? I don't hear it. Three. Robin, it didn't go through. Didn't call. Oh, what is going on here? What is that? It actually, it didn't call, but it's uh, showing up. That is interesting. Is that, yeah? It is the Venus channel. It says right up there on the top. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to take a second look at the, uh, the hotel receiver. Uh, this was one of many receivers that would have been mounted in a technical room in a hotel. It was uh, used to bring a satellite channel in to the hotel's own TV network that was distributed through this hotel. Now, the service was provided by Bell at that time, and this blonder tongue receiver was used just to bring in a single channel that was dialed in on the front there, channel 200. And uh, internally, what we determined last time when we looked at this guy was that it was a 2700 model uh, motherboard. And uh, I've confirmed that because I actually have one over here. And this is actually out of a 2700. And uh, the only difference is the 2700 has this modulator on the back, which this one is lacking. So that tells me that these motherboards were, what it looks like, exclusively made for Blonder Tongue. There was some talk. Uh, some of the comments suggested that maybe Blonder Tongue just went out and got consumer units, ripped out the motherboards, put them in these cases. But I don't think so now because of that modulator. Uh, yeah, these, these look like they were custom made for Blonder Tongue. That makes sense uh, when you think about it from a business perspective. Now, one thing I always liked about the 2700 boards, and you guys are going to get a laugh out of this, you, you go in and there is a pirate ship there. Look at that. There is a pirate ship there on the circuit board with the skull flag, and it says FCC. I always found that very amusing. And what was that? What did that signify? Does uh, that suggest being an FCC pirate? Um, it's on all the boards. Look, this one has it too. So it was always kind of cute. Whoever drew that and why that was on there, who knows? There's a volcano in the background and there's sharks going around. And really weird, like that you would find that inside uh, a commercial product. Uh, was it something against the FCC or what? Who knows? But just really weird. Anyways, guys, we're going to hook this back up because somebody suggested in the comments, leave it connected to the satellite for up to a month and the card will update itself. Well, guess what, guys? I listened to the guy's comment. I thought, what the hell? Let me try it. I put it down in my basement. I left it connected to a satellite connection and powered up. And I would check it every few days, and it was just like nothing, 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 still not authorized, not authorized. 23 days in, it was, it, seriously, I was about to pull the plug on it because I thought this is not going to work. On the 23rd day, I find it's working. We have an operational receiver that just updated itself by just being left connected to the satellite signal, what we call the data stream off the satellite and on the 23rd day, sure enough, this guy was right, whoever suggested this. It's working, and I'm going to show you guys. We're going to hook it up. And as you recall, if you go back to November 5th, I think it was, when I posted the previous video, um, it didn't do too much. Uh, the card just kept saying unauthorized, and uh, it said it was new card ready, too. So I just figured this was a hopeless uh, receiver. It was a commercial receiver. Who knows what kind of account that this card was on. And there is the, the smart card right there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys. We're going to hook it up. And we're, I'm going to show you what, what it's picking up. It's pretty cool. It's actually working. Okay, guys, stand by. Okay, guys, I'm down in patch base setting things up because we are going to go on the satellite momentarily. But I am strung a coax. This is it right here from that switch labeled 91. That is the 91 degree satellite from Bell Express View. 
and uh, this cable is running up to uh, the receiver upstairs. Over here, I'm also plugging into People ask me, why do I have so many ATAs? Well, they're all configured to do different things. And the one that I'm connected to here is configured for a dial-up modem. So that one will handle any type of dial-up modem. We want to test something. And we are going to call the mothership with this receiver too and see what it does just for fun. I love just the sound of the dial-up modems. So here we go, guys. So these cables, we come over and around run up like this there's the coax the black coax and there's the phone line that we're going to use and they come around here and uh into the kitchen and uh there's the phone line there we'll use that later when we do our dial up call the black coax is plugged into the satellite receiver that is the 91 degree nimic satellite from bell express view which calls itself Bell TV now. I guess they try to make things simpler. And the white is the video going over here up to our monitor, which shows, of course, no signal because nothing is on right now. The two black cables are the audio left and right. This time, because we actually got it working, we're going to hook up. There it is there. I don't know if it's going to focus well. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Commercial digital satellite receiver. Okay, we're gonna now power this guy up. Stand by, guys. Okay, so there's from the power outlet. I'm gonna plug this guy in. Try to do this with one hand without getting zapped. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, guys, power is connected and it is booting up and we have the green light on showing us we have power and we have the screen saying please stand by for the satellite signal thank you for your patience it's very polite of it to ask us to be patient so it is booting up and what do you think we're going to get this time guys let's see what we get let's get right up close it's going to happen any second now Oh, the excitement of waiting. Here we go. Thank God it's Friday. And it's actually, uh, it's actually uh, Wednesday. <laughs> Anyways, guys, look at that. Movie channels. Let me get the remote here. And we're going to go look at the guide here. And look at that. We now have movie channels or 80s movies. What would this one be? Which channel is this? The 90s. What do we got? Oh, we have the 2000s channel too. Look at this. We've got all these movie channels coming in for free now. Oh, I better uh, be careful what we're showing there. I don't know. Some, some of these channels, you never know. There could be some nudity. So you better be careful. Yeah, okay, so uh, let's see what else we got here. And this is just coming in for free. All I did was leave this receiver connected for uh, 23 days. And uh, the bold and the beautiful. <clears throat> there we go, guys. Okay. <clears throat> oh, programming for the kids. Why TV? Here. Lots of channels, wow. Together. Shit's Creek. I totally get that. Okay. Totally up Shit's Creek there. Wow, what is this? It's like an Indian channel. Okay, there's the Venus channel. We up. We're gonna actually try to order this. Uh, I got to connect the phone line to it, but we're actually going to try this again. I just love the dot, the sound of the dial-up. We did this on one of my previous videos with um, the PVR one. That was pretty, pretty incredible. A lot of people just 
commented on this is the sound of the modem. So these channels are off air. Oh, let's go back here. Lord of the house. That's creepy. Okay, that one we can't get. Oh, we got, uh, it's Disney. Is that Disney? Yeah. Disney Junior. Free previews. So, okay, so here's all your free previews. And you'll be able to get all these channels. Look, on December 21st, Sci-Fi. 22nd, Food. So, hold on, let me just turn this music down. It's so loud. <clears throat> Look at that. Food. Showcase. Homes and Gardens. These channels are all, all you're going to be able to get all these channels for like a month for free whenever there's a preview. So there's Disney, the one we're getting right now. See, December 1st, so it just started. Look, Hollywood Suites, that is those movie channels. So there's four movie channels that we're getting. And those are free until January the 5th. There's always free channels on here. So all you need to do, guys, is get an old bell receiver, do what I did. If it doesn't work, we'll leave it on the satellite for up to a month. And it's proven that this does work. Okay, guys, let's go look at those movies again. Let's go back and look at those movie channels. Where are they? There it is. Thank God it's Friday. Chevy Chase, Muriel's Wedding, all these great channels, guys. Pay-per-view events. Thank you. Oh, look, pay-per-view. Possibly you can get some pay-per-view, too. You never know. Okay, let's go back and look at that movie, Blue Crush. Okay, guys, now we're gonna try uh, hooking up the phone line and uh, the dial-up, stand by. Okay, guys, I got the phone line connected and that phone line comes over to my squawk box, which is right here. And then from there, it's going down to the ATA in the basement that is generating our dial-up phone line to call the mothership. And the last time we did this was, was with that PVR receiver. It was kind of funny just listening to a 56K modem from the 1990s dialing. So we're going to try it with this one too. And uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, it's so classic listening to the, uh, the dial-up modems. So guys, all we need to do is we just need to uh, get... Venus going on here. We're going to place an order for that pay-per-view and let's see what we get here. We just need to find the Venus channel. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, there it is. Yes, we want to order that for a dollar and ninety-nine. Uh, and okay, so we are going to now <clears throat> we need to go here. And when I push that, so I'm going to start my squawk box here and we are gonna push that. And is that going through? Don't hear it. Ready? Yeah, but it didn't go through, didn't call. Whoa, what is going on here? What is that? It actually, it didn't call, but it's uh, showing up. That is interesting. Is that, yeah, it is the Venus channel. It says right up there on the top, guys, Venus. Okay, why? Well, oh. I don't know if we should show this on YouTube here, but um, looks like it's working. Um, there must be credit on this card for that to work. So that's smart card. I mean, I don't know the history of this unit. This came out of a hotel, so that, that's got some kind of credit on it because that is working. That is working, guys. Weird. You never know what you're going to get with this kind of stuff, but 
Well, there you go, guys, the Venus channel. And uh, I think we better stop it there. That looks like it's gonna get a little bit, a little bit, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that is crazy, so crazy. Anyways, guys, let's go back and find something else. What else is on here? Rush time machine. Huh. Anyways, guys, that was interesting. That was unexpected. I didn't expect that to happen. But yeah, um, not all pay-per-view gets dialed in. Uh, it depends on your credit. If you have, if you're credit worthy or whatever, uh, you're pre-authorized for certain pay-per-views. So this card, being that it was probably a corporate uh, account, and it's probably still on that account in some ways or another because or there's just credit on the card because that that pay-per-view it just went straight to the straight to the program it didn't even call in unfortunately i'm a little bit disappointed that it didn't call in because i set all this up but um yeah that was that was funny <laughs> okay guys stand by okay guys just wrapping things up i just want to point out that if you have a bell receiver be sure to keep it connected to the satellite if you have an old bell receiver that hasn't been connected to the satellite, connect it and leave it for up to a month and you will start receiving channels. Now you just gotta make sure that you are on the satellite. So when you do connect it, um, I will show you up here. If we go into the menu, okay, system setup, push that and installation point dish you should have a satellite signal showing up right there like i do see 100 percent 91 you just need the 91 satellite and uh just leave it let it update and eventually you will have programming whatever is available uh any of the previews and like what i've discovered if your card has credit on it you might even be able to get some other pay-per-views so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed that and uh, oh it's rush it's getty lee oh this is good wow we got some good programming here uh right on okay guys i'm gonna go now and watch uh, some getty lee okay rush i always love the rush one of my favorite bands okay guys take care and have a good one thanks for watching